So welcome back to JS Madras. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to create a fishnet or grid using ArcGIS. So as you can see on the display, so this is my uh, area of interest or area of study for which I am going to create a grid. So in order to create a fishnet or grid, we are going to first uh, find out the tool where it is located. So for that, use the Arc Toolbox. Here you can find the option called as data management tools select it and come down to the option come down to the option feature class click on the plus button and you can see the option create fishnet so this is one of the method to browse the tool there is another option you can use the search tab so that can be done using the control plus f button here you can directly search fishnet and you can find the option create fishnet so that is also comes in the data management tool this is much more easier to browse than the out toolbox so the tools are same whether you go by out toolbox or go by such stuff the tool is same that is create fishnet first of all we need to specify the output feature class so we, we, we need to specify the output location and give a name to it save it and uh, the second, second option is uh, template extension here I am going to select the study area that is area of interest as the template extent finally come down here we are going to specify the number of rows and number of columns so I am going to specify it as 15 10 by 15 so that uh, I am, uh, I need to get it as a square. So I am going to use this proportion, 10 by 15. This can be changed based on your study area. So I need to have a square shape grid. So that is why I am using this. So this is not exactly a square, but uh, it it will be almost looking like a square. And finally, you can uh, see there is an option called as create the label points so by creating grids in uh, center the uh, label points will be created if you need you can enable the, enable this otherwise you can disable it and finally you can see the option uh, geometric tools and that you can select the polygon type and finally run the tool just click ok so the tool has uh, the process has been started and the output has been come now I am just uh, bringing the shapefile on the top, study area shapefile and you can see here so this is the output and uh, yeah, this is the result how it looks like so once again I go back to the results and here I'm going to show show you another example where uh, I, I'm going to select the number of rows and columns as 10 by 10 and run it once again. So here you will be finding the result that will be in a square shape. So you can see here the result is sorry the result will be looking like a rectangle uh, file the width will be looking like the rectangular shape so you can just uh, fix it based on the uh, number of rows columns so that is why i have opted for uh, the first uh, in the first i would have used the uh, number of uh, columns as 10 and the number of uh, sorry number of rows as 10 and number of columns as 15 so that it will be looking like a square shape so if you are having any other doubts you can just ask in the comment section so i am going to go with the uh, the last is the first file which i have created so here you can see the file has been successfully created now we need to finally clip it using geoprocessing you can uh, find the option clip 
here we can uh, directly click the layers the input file will be grid and the clip feature will be the study area file and click uh, now uh, the third option is you can always specify the output location of this file where you need you can just uh, save it and just click ok and you can see here so I have clipped it so that it actually matches with the study area shape so thanks for watching JS Madras if you have any other doubts or comments please do ask me goodbye